It's not a sport normally associated with China, but the host nation's fencing team is one of the country's best chances for Olympic gold. Tan Shui currently tops the women's world rankings in the sabre division. Some are tipping the Chinese to win four fencing medals, but coping with the expectations of Olympic success on home soil is one of the toughest challenges for China's competitors. For athletes, the biggest dream is the Olympics, and this time it's on our doorstep, so it's a great opportunity. But we need to adjust mentally for the competition. Mental training is something new Sabre coach Christian Bauer has focused on since taking over two years ago. One of the first things he did was give his team a holiday, fearful they had burned out from overtraining. Even though Bauer needs an interpreter to communicate with his athletes, the team has warmed to his approach. I think he's an excellent coach, very different from Chinese coaches who tend to emphasize long hours of training. He focuses more on ideology and thinking. Motivational messages hang from the training room walls. It's part of what Bauer likes to call his iron fist in a velvet glove tactics in coaching. Be firm but understanding. Training has to be pleasant. They have to enjoy it. At the beginning, the officials told me the athletes are laughing during training sessions, so they can't be working. I had to explain to them we can work and have fun at the same time. His theory will soon be put to the test. China hopes to improve on its performance four years ago, when it won three silver medals and narrowly missed gold.